it was tough to pick a winner between Castletown and Abilix beforehand, and it proved to be a very even contest throughout. One Riley got Abilix off the mark in the first minute. And Castletown's Garol got on reply two minutes later to level up the score. Gohan added another free a few minutes later, then Ryan Mullally stole in and made the most of this opportunity, putting the ball over the bar to make it three points to one in favour of Castletown. Martin Phelan then stretched the Castletown lead to three points after six minutes. Ablitz responded with Riley finding this free two minutes later. added two more frees to level up the match at four points each before Garold got in reply for Castletown and then Abilene's wing forward Kieran Carroll put over their first point from play on 12 minutes making the score level again at five points apiece. Three minutes later Riley landed this long free to put Abilene's into a one point lead. Shane Phelan then showed some good vision to pick out Shane Cuddy with a super pass and after a good run, Cuddy fired over the bar, levelling up the match again. <laughs> Wing back John Gotton then intercepted a wayward pass to land an inspiration score for the Castletown men. <laughs> it was Riley again who kept Abbey Leeds in contention with this free on 25 minutes. Riley then added another free before Kieran Carroll found Jay Cranny to fire over from close range. When the halftime whistle sounded, it was Castletown 10 points, Abbey Leeds 9. Castletown played well for large spells in the opening half, however, they were unable to shake off Abbey Leeds, who kept in touch with Owen Riley's unerring accuracy from freeze. In saying that, Castletown made a good start to the second half, getting the first score after the restart. Riley fired back for Abbey Leaks, this time a point from play. James Holden then showed some quick thinking, picking up this loose ball and firing him over from the right wing. Midfielder Brendan Redden received the pass in the 36 minutes and landed this huge effort over the bar to put Castletown four points in front. Again it was Riley who kept Abbey Leaks in touch, finding the range from 45 yards out. Callum Mullen put two points between the sides when he put this effort over on 40 minutes. Riley then converted another free, reducing the gap to two points. Brilliant catch and score from Castletown centre back Ryan Mullally put Castletown three ahead after 45 minutes played. Callum Mullen then pointed once again to make it a two point game. Garold got and put up a three over a minute later, and this was to be Castletown's last score of the match. The turning point in this game occurred in the 48th minute when Owen Riley picked up a loose ball and batted to the net, levelling up the match and giving Abilene a new sense of belief. Riley then put Abilene into the lead two minutes later. Another 
free from Riley and then a score from open play from Owen Bentley stretch Abelita's lead who are now finding form at the right time. Third free from Riley closed out the game for Abelita who will now meet Camerson in the next round. Final score from Amore Park, Abelita 120, Castletown 17 points.